sunshine and citrus are notch made in culinary heaven. Here with a classic pound cake, yum, with a summertime spin is Baker Jyoti Nanra. It's been too long, but I've been watching you on Instagram and enjoying just the beauty of your recipes, but really wanting to eat them. So now I finally get to do that. It's so good. I get to eat two. So nothing says summer like citrus. And then I love the fact that we are doing this, or you are doing this in a pound cake, which you say is actually a really good starter recipe for a novice baker. Like what makes a pound cake something that I should be trying? Why is it easy? I feel like it's so easy because if you do everything right, yeah. and you don't open the oven don't open while the it's oven. baking, okay, you're set. And the pan does all the work. It comes out in this gorgeous rectangular shape. Mm. You add a little bit of glaze. It's gonna impress everyone. You didn't even put that much effort into it. Oh, so I love like that. Low effort. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Fool yeah. everybody and maybe put some flour on your face and make <laughs> yeah. it look, oh my God, it was so hard. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so for everyone following along yeah. at home, how do we start the recipe? So we are starting with the recipe here. I've creamed up our butter super nice and light. You okay. want to cream it for at least 10 minutes and your butter should always be room temperature. It's going to get really mm. nice and pale. Okay. Then we add in all our wet ingredients. So like the lemon juice, the orange juice, mm. um, our sour cream, all of that stuff. We mix yep. that up and that is ready here so it's gonna look sort of like this not very appealing it's kind of curdled looking it's looking yeah it looks a little chunky that is actually is appealing to me <laughs> <laughs> just a window into my brain everyone <laughs> but why is it so important that you cream the butter to this consistency so it's so important because we want that pound cake to have a nice dense but tender crumb. Mm -hmm. And when you don't cream the butter for long enough, you just end up with a flat, dense cake. Yeah. And it doesn't have that melt in your mouth crumb. So always take the time and just cream your butter. Okay. Just cream take the, the butter, extra five people. minutes. Yeah, it's yeah. worth it. It's All right, perfect. so now we've got this. What do we do next? Yeah, so I'm gonna get you to fold. Okay. So I have my dry ingredients here. This is my flour, my rising agents, and salt. I'm gonna okay. add half of it in here. Yes. And I want you to just fold it in. Did you see that episode of Schitt's Creek where Mo Moira is doing a recipe? I, and, and and, and she has to fold, and she's like, I don't know what that is. Yes, I Okay, did. well, I'm kind of like That's her. probably one of my so favorite episodes. <laughs> is this, what, is this folding? You can go, Look, you can fold. be a little more aggressive. Oh, okay, all right. Because yeah. I feel like there's something about folding that's just very, it's gentle, and there's a reason why they say fold, don't mix, and what is it? What's the reason? So for something like this cake, and I yeah. would say cake in general, yeah. the reason, so okay, we yeah. got that. Go ahead. Yay, that looks gorgeous. Thank you. You can just be a little more, you can be aggressive. That's okay, fine. all right, all yeah. right. I'm gonna fold a little faster. Just fold it. Yeah, just um, fold it. So the reason it. why we fold is mm -hmm. because we don't wanna develop too much gluten in our flour. Okay. So what happens when we leave this in the mixer is sometimes you walk away for a minute and you yeah. end up over developing the gluten. So you end up with a very like bready texture mm. as opposed to a tender texture, which is what we want. So okay. folding allows us to control yeah. the amount of mixing that we do, right? Okay. It takes a little bit longer, but yeah. we end up with the perfect texture. Okay, oh, beautiful. Oh, that's looking so good. Thank you, I'm doing better than Moira, everybody. I'm so excited. You, 100%. Very good. So Very now good. we're gonna put it yeah. in the pan. We're gonna pop this into the pan. You want me to do it? You can do it. Okay. I'll hold the pan. Is there any kind of like a uh, rule I need for this? No. Oh, so essentially all you want is like we have here, we've greased our pan with yes. like an oil cooking spray. You can do it with butter if you want. Okay. And we've lined it with some parchment paper. And the reason why we do that is so that we grease and line so that when our cake is ready, we can pull it out. Okay. And it pulls out effortlessly. Okay, so okay. I see the parchment paper and these cute little clips you have. Just talk to me about this. Like, don't put it in your hair. It's for your baking. Don't put it in your hair. It's for yeah. your baking. Yeah. And they're metal, so they're heat resistant. They can go in your oven and you don't have to worry about them. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so okay. we're gonna put that in the oven. This is going into our oven. Very nice. It looks gorgeous. It looks like light and fluffy like a cloud. And the beauty is, I know we filled that pan, yeah. but we don't have to worry about it because this pan was filled and see how it rises in the oven? Yeah. And then when it comes out, that crumb forms a nice dense texture and it almost shrinks, which yeah. is... Now you say when you pull it out of the oven, you've got to give it some time. Now remember she said, don't look at it in the oven. Like if you <laughs> look at it, the whole thing is destroyed. Do not look at it. So you bring it out, you've been very respectful. You kept your eyes off the oven and now you need to give it space. And we're talking like a lot of space. How much space? I would say, honestly, do overnight. 
if you really can. Overnight? It's, it's worth it, I promise. Okay. But if you can't wait the overnight, three yeah. hours. Do three hours. Three hours. Let it fully cool. Yeah. And then you're ready to go. But okay. the thing I wanted to show you is, so the reason why we grease the pan and yeah. add our parchment is, watch this. Oh my gosh. And look at those oh, edges. Beautiful. Oh, that's stunning. Right? And like so our good. pan is Clean, no cake. Almost, right? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Okay. So now we're going to pop this onto our rack here and we're going to yeah. make a super quick glaze. This okay. glaze comes together very quickly. All right. So we've got melted butter, yep. which is crucial. I would not skip the butter. Okay. It adds a little bit of richness got and it, it balances out all the sugar and the water that we're gonna add, add in your icing sugar. Yum. This is already a good combo. It is, and then orange zest. Okay. Optional, but yep. I highly recommend it because it ups that citrus flavor. And that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with that beautiful citrus. It, it feels like summer. You already know you love a pound cake, but when you add in these great flavors, it just feels so seasonal. What is that? Okay, this is food color. I'm extra. You yes, know this. you are, which so, is why we love you. <laughs> but you don't have to add food color. It's okay. very optional, but I feel like it just enhances the color of the icing. Yes. Makes it ever so slightly orange. So I like nice. to whisk my icing, sugar, and butter. Okay. So you do this without the stand mixer, huh? We I do. do okay, can I ask you for a favor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to hold the bowl or yeah. whisk? What do you prefer? You want to hold? I'll hold, okay. you whisk. I want to make sure we get the glaze done. Oh, look at the color. It's so nice, Joti. Right? Yeah, it's lovely. Okay, this is going to come together in a second. Look and now I want you to just go to town. Yeah. And pour that glaze onto our How cake. easy was that? Okay, so I can go for it? Go for it. Okay. No, oh, <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. Um, okay, and now, I had last thing. It's gonna yeah. take a second. Oh, we have so these candied so lemon slices. You can buy these or make these. They're super simple. Okay. Um, one part water, one part sugar, add your lemon slices and that's it. You have candied lemon slices. Listen, this is gorgeous and we've got the final right here that you can see it sat here, it was put together, it's got the gorgeous gold flex on top because she is extra which is why we like her <laughs> and now it's time for me to try it. Oh you want some too? Please. You should have like some of the fruits of your labor. Oh my god. A pound cake. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Didn't I do such a good job with that recipe? <laughs> Everyone, CityLine.tv for the recipe. It tastes 